Welcome back to Simple Abound. Uh, here I've got, you know, it's the cheapest camp table I could make. It's just, uh, I paid $7 for the base here. And there used to be like a cloth thing on it. So I, I originally just glued two pieces of eighth inch, like Luan plywood, the cheapest stuff I had laying around the garage. But it's not quite wide enough. So I doubled down on the cheapness here and I had some pieces laying around to make it a little wider and it, right now I've got it cut so it's wider than it needs to be because you know after I get this glued up then I'll trim it down to size so I don't know, right now it's just uh, you know it's just a bunch of pieces I cut it's going to be about 26 by 26 right now and this is like 24 by 21 but obviously you know it's missing a little bit on the end so I'm going to get that glued up and then I'm going to use this trusty thing to help hold it down while it's getting glued together because this Luan really is kind of slippery stuff and when you put glue on it it tends to really slide all over the place. I have the four pieces here. There's a, you know, more underneath here. So there's two pieces underneath. I'm gonna glue them up and get a bunch of heavy stuff set on them. Here is my highly sophisticated clamping method. Uh, also known as everything heavy I could find to weigh this thing down. While it dries, I'm going to wait probably about 24 hours, then I'll cut it down to size. The glue has dried and I got it squared up with the pencil lines here. I'm going to get it cut out and then I'm going to get the holes cut, the four holes cut, where it goes through the stand to hold it up. I've got the bottom on the top here I'm gonna get the four holes drilled out and then I'm gonna put some type of sealer on this and it'll be ready to go here's the finish table got the four bolts on it I just used a butcher block finish on it since I cook outside with it I usually have the Coleman propane stove that I use usually. Uh, on the bottom I have this nice green paint here that I had uh, and then I got two rails on the side to kind of just help support it I guess and I got wing nuts on all of them and then that thing which was on there when I first got it. Um, yeah so that's the table and then I got the, the flashlight is done. Um, like I said, it's a Hitachi flashlight, and I got like a rigged Milwaukee thing on it. I mean, you can't even see the tape hardly on it, um, but it works. Um, I'll give a review if it still continues to work, I guess. probably don't recommend doing this. It's probably not the safest thing, but uh, it works, and I got a flashlight I can use. Right now I'm in the middle of changing the old height back. Last time I took it down it was 20 below. It's kind of cold. Um, so this right here is the old height. You kind of see this is the, the existing height I had in here right now. You know, and that's the old height. I kept these so they all got the old holes so kind of pretty self-explanatory on where they go pretty much. Um, right now I got this side out. Um, I'm going to get these back in there and then take these out. I'm, I'm going to kind of show you the progress I made because, you know, it got kind of cold last time. Um, so I think just this little bit of height might help. The fan will be a little closer maybe to help circulate there because it got really hot on the ceiling I noticed last time even with the didn't seem to matter if I push the air out or push the air down. Didn't really seem to matter. I helped circulate the air. 
So the first one here is installed. I got that. I got the new holes drilled for that. I'm going to kind of set you down and show you how this works. So I drilled out this last hasp here, throw that in, that's all done. Got the project all done. Now you can see the final height is um, to the very top of the ceiling, it's about 5'7". Then to the bottom of this 2x4 this here is about 5'5 five, five and a half, which isn't a problem because I'm only like 5'3 on a good day. So I still got plenty of room standing up in here and I think this might look a little better I don't know I mean it uh it's plenty of height as you can see it kind of looks a little better now because you don't see all the gray line but uh anyway thanks for watching